We've been engaged in a war against drugs for over 30 years. We're plainly losing it. So the question is, should we instead control, regulate and tax okay. drugs? It's a lack of education again, isn't it? I mean, you know, people make bad mistakes because they, they don't have the information. But for me personally, I don't want my drugs taxed. <laughs> <laughs> they, all, they, 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 all, they already are. Because you're, you're a smoker, aren't you? You know nothing, sir. No, but I, <laughs> I, I happen to know from observation I that you smoke cigarettes. I got my Marlboros on duty free. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> so just to, to clarify, what Class A drugs? I'm not going to... I've never said. I've said they were Class A. I've never said what Class what, A drugs sorry, I, I did. I, and I don't want to say so, because I don't want to glorify those drugs and give those drugs a great name. Yeah, I yeah, did serious yeah. drugs, and it messed with my head, and it's a terrible thing, and I don't want to see other young people exposed to that by legalisation. Well, like, you, you, yeah. you, you said you didn't want your drugs taxed. No, you you, well, drugs... I was obviously being, like, you know, cynical and witty and ironic at the same time. Um, right. So uh, what's your what serious my view? My point is, as always, I want everything in life to be transparent, and that includes all information. Young people... People are denied information. They're denied everything at, in, in any way to fully understand what it is that's being offered to them. This is why you get unwanted pregnancies and stupid drug casualties. The things are out there. Why can't the correct information be easily accessed? What do you mean by the correct information? The effects of every single narcotic. And most of them are manufactured by uh, chemical companies anyway, so you can begin right there. Uh, America is really, quite frankly, the biggest drug creator there is. And legal, I mean, like legalizing, ecstasy and things yeah. like this. Le this legalizing this, drugs. Ecstasy is a drug America created to deal with psychotic patients. Isn't that lovely? All right. Legalization of drugs. Legalization? I don't see why these things should be illegal if the correct information is out there. Now, here's the, here's the problem. You can kill yourself with two tablespoons of table salt. Are you now going to ban table salt? Okay. Come on, nothing. Just because you've had a bad time of it, I'm which not, I don't believe, I, you're I am, here, I you're very not... coherent, class A. I'm not the only one, John. I'm not the only one. You may no, have counted you may have and come I'm out not it saying either. You may and have I'm out saying, it. let us as human beings determine our own journey in life. No, no institution or government no, no. will tell me other. I have friends, family, culture totally. to right. help. The lady totally. here is saying you're wrong. You've spoken before, but speak. Yes, you may. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. You're shouting you wrong. Yeah. You're wrong yeah. at him. John, I thought you might want to add okay. to it. Hello. I hear what you're saying, Louise. Sorry, Louise. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the experiences of the people who are in this audience today. Okay, mm. but I've worked with young people. Okay, so who have, have. Can I finish, please? Yes, I've worked with young people. Okay, who've abused not just A-class drugs. Okay, you refer to. We know what can happen there, but class drugs that are classed as B and C-class drugs. And I've seen the effects. I've gone in the hospitals and I've seen the long-term effects that's had on those young people and the lives and how their lives have changed. There is no way that anybody in here can really sit here and say to me right now, okay, that those drugs, sh those drugs should be legalised, okay? Yeah. It is wrong. Yeah. It is dangerous. I can't. I want you to understand, I'm not talking as a middle-class twat from Tring here. I come from Finsbury Park. I'm a working-class solid boy, me, right? We know, and we help each other out, and we stop that kind of, like, situation, right? And, it, and there's bad parenting there. There's many, many things that aren't helping, and it's always down to disinformation, and it creates this subculture that drugs are somehow cool and trendy. Eliminate that from the agenda. All right. All right? 